And joining us now is uh, George McLean, the leader of the Sarasota Jazz Project. And Doug Miles along with uh, Danny Lane here at the Copa Restaurant in downtown Sarasota. And uh, uh, George, uh, I know you're getting set to play tonight, but uh, first of all, welcome uh, to uh, WTMY and thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much. It's a, it's a thrill to be performing tonight with you fellas here to record the uh, band. Yeah, we had a chance last week to come and uh, hear the band uh, uh, do a concert, and uh, you do two sets of about an hour each, so uh, f- folks can come down and see and hear a lot of great big band charts. Well, we've been playing here at the Copa Restaurant and Lounge at 1118 North Washington Boulevard uh, since right after Christmas. So we're uh, gradually building a regular following here, and it's an absolutely great room to play in. The acoustics are wonderful. We have a couple of mics set up to uh, amplify the saxophone solos a little bit, but we really don't even need any amplification in this room for the trumpet and trombone solo. This is Danny Lane here, and uh, this is a great venue. Good music, good food. What can be better? It really is. It's a terrific place to come in. We play from 7 till 9 uh, on Sundays, the first three Sundays of the month. On the fourth Sunday of the month, another big band comes in and plays, the Kenny Loomer Big Band. So we get a, we get a night off once a month, uh, but we play from 6 to 9, and uh, most people like to come in around 6.30 or so, order dinner, uh, drinks, kind of get situated in their place so they can enjoy the music for the next two hours. It's nice to have a consistent night where people can expect to find big band music, too. Sometimes it's uh, at different places, different days of the week, but on Sunday nights, this is the place to be for big band music. We are trying to establish Sunday nights as the night for big band music at the Copa. And uh, if you come any Sunday night, uh, you're going to hear great big band music from the Sarasota Jazz Project or, on, as I say, on the fourth Sunday of the month from the Kenny Loomer Big Band. <laughs>
You're listening to the Sarasota Jazz Project here at 1280 WTMY, live from the Copa Restaurant in downtown Sarasota. Now let's get back to the bandstand.
listening to Artist Spotlight on WTMY. We'll be back in a minute. You're listening to the Sarasota Jazz Project here at 1280 WTMY, live from the Copa Restaurant in downtown Sarasota. Now let's get back to the bandstand. Thank you. 
listening to 1280 WTMY. This is Danny Lane and Doug Miles with Artist Spotlight. And welcome back to Artist Spotlight here at 1280 WTMY. Doug Miles, Danny Lane with you live at the Copa Restaurant tonight in downtown Sarasota. And uh, the band taking a break right now gives us a chance to talk with one of the musicians in the band, a good friend of ours, Tony Bonatti. Tony, good to have you with us tonight. How are you? Thank you. Very good, uh, Doug. Glad to be here. Yeah, good to have you. Uh, again, we were here last week to hear the band uh, just kind of relaxing eating dinner. Tonight we're doing a, a broadcast, but the uh, band sounds hot tonight. Well, they're, they're, yeah, they're hitting pretty good. We had a couple of new charts in there that uh, we hadn't done before, but uh, uh, it came out pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. You play a number of instruments, I've noticed, uh, Tony. Yeah, what, uh, yeah. Tell us about that. How many instruments do you play? Well, I started out in high school as a clarinet player. I was going to be the next Benny Goodman. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. But, yeah, then I started with saxophone. So I have uh, alto and tenor saxophone. And then I started on flute in my mid-20s. I started learning flute and piccolo. Uh, so basically, those are my working instruments. I also have... a keyboard at home that is uh, attached to my handy dandy computer i do quite a bit of arranging and a little bit of composition as well you do a lot of the charts for the band you played one I've done, uh, tonight yes. uh, they're, they're very kind that they uh play a lot of the, of the original things that i've done uh george mclean uh he and i have known each other now for well probably about seven or eight years and uh he was in another band that i was conducting for a while the sarasota jazz uh, ensemble for right. a while and uh, George was in that, and we did a few things there. But since he's formed this band here, they uh, they asked me anytime I have something new that I'd like to hear, you know, have it played by a live band, uh, I send it to him, and, and we play it. So yeah, quite quite a bit uh, quite a bit of material being played by this band. How many other bands do you play for, Tony? I notice a lot of the players are in different bands at different times. Yeah, well, that's the way the business goes today. <laughs> yeah, you don't really, uh, you're not really bound to anybody. It's more like a self-contracting business today. Uh, I have my own group. I have a, both a small group, a small trios, and uh, next Saturday, next Saturday, I'm playing uh, with a nine-piece group over at the uh, Sarasota YMCA. Uh, they have a, they dances there on Saturday night. I do work with uh, any of the shows in town. That I'm, in, in the July, I'll be playing with the West Coast Black Theater, uh, part of their show that they'll be doing. And I have been doing that for the past couple of years as well. We're hoping that the Copa uh, gigs uh, continue for you and have a consistent night for big band music. It's uh, so great to, to have one night where you know you're going to find big band music here at the Copa Lounge. And right. other well, nights, kind of inconsistent, but uh, Sunday night, 7 to 9, great time. Right. Raphael has been very good with us. In fact, every, every, every restaurant, he's opened here a couple of restaurants in the past several years, and he's always favored jazz music in there. And uh, so the big band has been playing here for the Copa and several of the other places in town uh, for some time. But, yes, it's, it's, a, great, it's a great experience. Uh, people, they say, boy, we want to hear this kind of music. So it's here. It's available. You just got to come out and listen to it and spend a little time with us.
You're listening to Artist Spotlight on WTMY. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to 1280 WTMY. Doug Miles and Danny Lane with you tonight. We're listening to the Sarasota Jazz Project Orchestra live from the Copa Restaurant in downtown Sarasota. Let's get back to the bandstand. <laughs>
You've been listening to the Sarasota Jazz Project Orchestra from the Copa Restaurant in downtown Sarasota tonight. Hope you enjoyed our artist spotlight with Doug Miles and Danny Lane. Join us next time as we bring you more great music right here at 1280 W.